John Cordy and I just wanted to extend a heartfelt apology to uh, uh, on a podcast appearance. I accused him of, uh, amongst other things, shoplifting and um, there's no evidence that that was intentional. Um, it just sort of fell into his, his bag, so I just wanted to say sorry, obviously. Um, today's Friday and last week I talked about some of my favourite moments from Eric Johnson's Manhattan and um, since there's plenty more within that tune that I really like I felt like it made sense to continue down this path and talk about some of my other favourite moments from the tune. So we're going to start with this fairly simple little thing but I think it's a great little... little piece of uh, chord playing. Um, so if you've not remembered we're in, so we're helpfully enough we're in F sharp major making everything difficult to talk about but we start off here so we've got a D sharp, a B, an F sharp and then an A sharp. So we've got a D sharp, a B, an F sharp, and an A sharp. Then we've got a C sharp, a D sharp, and a G sharp. And then we move that down again to a B, a D sharp, and an F sharp. Then the next part that I, I really like, uh, leading into the guitar solo, the first one. We use these spread voices which we've talked about on the channel before. So we start with this one which is a D sharp, a B and an F sharp. Then we move to an E sharp, a C sharp and a G sharp. So same shape up and then we do an F sharp D sharp and A sharp. So you get that. I would use my middle finger there. I think that's what Eric does. Then this. So we've got a C sharp and F sharp and another C sharp. And then we got this. B flat 7 sus thing, so we've got a B flat. Sorry, it's not B flat, is it in this key? So you could think of it as a B flat 7 sus, but it's actually an A sharp, so we've got an A sharp, a G sharp, a D sharp, an F sharp, and another A sharp. So together. post solo section where he's playing some lead lines and underneath that and I think also what he plays live there's this really cool little chord part Um, so slowly we end. We start off with a G sharp kind of uh, G sharp seven. So I'm not using the A string for this. So you sort of pick around it. So that's the first part. So we've got a G sharp seven, and then you hit that A sharp. So we're going from there to this chord. So we've got an A sharp, an F sharp, a C sharp, a D sharp, and a G sharp. And then. So 
then just bar across that for uh, like a C sharp sus. So that last part, play the D sharp and F sharp. The B, a D sharp, then an F sharp, then a C sharp, and then we play another C sharp in the bass, I think. And that's that part. So then the very last thing that I wanted to show you is a really cool thing as he's uh, working towards the kind of repeat. This happens in like the background in the clean guitar parts. Your actual notes are G sharp, F sharp, D, then a C sharp, and then a B. Which I think is probably a, a new favorite part of the tune for me. So you pick with, um, your pick between your middle finger and your thumb and you sort of point at the 12th fret above where you are so a whole octave and then when we come off F sharp So those are my, a few more of my favorite parts of Eric Johnson's Manhattan uh, from the chord playing perspective. If you want the tabs for this, uh, I'll put those on my Patreon. Um, hopefully you can work out from what I've shown you here, roughly what I'm doing. Um, but these are just like the little sections of the song where if you learn the whole song, you might kind of skip past these or maybe not give them as much attention as is needed. But I think they're really, but I think they're really useful little bits to look at. So hopefully that's interesting to you. Um, those are my favorite bits. And as I say, on Patreon, you can get the tab for them if you wanted to check those out. Um, I think maybe there's one more video of this coming. Um, there's a, a few more really cool sections of Manhattan. Um, certainly the very last chord um, kind of movement I really like. And also the build up but anyway, we can go over that another time. Hopefully you enjoyed this and got something out of it. If there was anything that made you think, oh yeah, I really got something out of that, there's a buy me a coffee link if you wanted to support the channel in some way, but only do that if you can afford to and you really enjoyed the lesson. Um, uh, also, HX Stomp is what I was using for this video and you can get those presets in the description. Um, this is my Eric Johnson Clean Lead preset. So yeah. Thanks for watching.